I'm putting just this is top of page 33. Of a class of many, many, many high frequency nouns that are called segolith nouns. Now, the term segolith obviously comes from the vowel segol. And you can easily see why this is a segolith noun, because it's got a segol, segol. Uh, not quite as easy, this one, because you got a tsere in segol. But this one is a segol noun, and it has no segols. What creates uh, the class of segol nouns is not the presence of a segol. What creates the class is penultima stress. So this is mele. This is Safer. This is not R. And there are always two syllables. It's just like that. Every single segolith noun in biblical Hebrew forms its plural in exactly the same way. Go down page 33, three quarters of the way down, we give you this long list of segols, uh, segolith nouns. Melech, Nefesh, Hereb, Safer, Boker, Zerach, Na'ar. They're all segolets. Why? Because they have penultimate stress. So look to the right. Now look, we're going to pluralize all of them for you. And I want you to notice the pattern is always the same. mo la kin Show on to the men. Comments under the lament. Lu fa shin There it is again. Uh, you've got a show under the nun. Comments under the pay. Ho ra bo su fa rin bo ka rin su ra in nu a rin. See, they all form their plural in exactly the same pattern. So, <coughs> the realization of seglet nouns is in fact as easy as no change pluralization. Uh, you really don't have to think about follow changes as you do in protonic reduction. So uh, once you understand that, uh, you should have no difficulty pluralizing uh, these high frequency nouns. So when you uh, get your quiz on Thursday and you've got noun pluralization, what do you look for first with these? The Where's the accent? With davar, that's two syllable, with accent on the ultima. With these, again two syllable, but access on the pen ultima. Yes, question? I mean, so every syllable, every syllable, every 